Hey everybody, I'm Mike Wendland and this is another show and tell. On uh, podcast episode 112, I uh, told everybody I was uh, testing out a brand new, a uh, very high-end cell phone booster from Wilson Amplifiers. Well, I had a lot of people who asked me, well, geez, show it to us. How does it work? How did you mount it? What's that big trucker antenna you were talking about? So, well, we got it installed and I'll show you how it is. Uh, but first, let me tell you a little bit about this amplifier. This is the, uh, the unit I got uh, to test out from Wilson. It's the professional grade RV. Uh, it is the uh, WeBoost Drive 4GX RV. And look at the price on that. It's $659. Uh, that is the antenna right there, and I've got that installed. But let me tell you, uh, there are a lot of other ones that are much less that you might want to try. The one that I have used consistently on my own for a long time has been this one, the WeBoost drive. It's about 179 You uh, put your cell phone or your jet pack in there, and you have a small little antenna that goes outside, and that's worked pretty good. It has not worked perfectly, though. And as I was talking with the Wilson people, they said, this is the one all the professional truck drivers use, and you ought to give it a try. So I did. The big challenge we had was with this, this outside antenna. It's meant to go on trucker mirrors, which are metal. And uh, the road truck mirrors are not, and there's not a really good place to, to mount it there. So where on earth would we mount it? Let me show you what we decided. The solution was to mount it somewhere else right here. Actually, we did it on the hinge. Uh, some engineers at Road Trek helped me figure out how to do this, and we just took their mount system off, and we actually were able to drill that right through the hinge and uh, mount it right there. You can see it's uh, it's got a heavy-duty spring on it. It's uh, a fairly substantial antenna. It looks like kind of a tiki torch, doesn't it? It's about uh, 18 inches or so high. It's, it's not really a big, tall antenna, but it is a pretty big thing. Uh, so we put it on top of the, we mounted it on the hinge on the road track. Now, uh, it's really easy. I can still open my doors, as you can see, all the way through here. And if you look carefully there, you can see how we uh, were able to mount it uh, right, right there. And we uh, have the wire, the wire comes down through the door. Uh, I have it through the, the uh, inside, through the screen there. And then I kind of tuck it around inside. The unit is powered by 12 volts DC, and I have that, I have a 12 volt DC connector actually mounted here. And that little red dot, you see, that's actually it right there. But I uh, tuck the wires in uh, under here, and uh, just you just basically pop that off. There's a little screw, you can loosen it, and you can get that a little loose, and then pop the wires inside under there. And I uh, tucked them all around up to where I mounted the antenna itself, which is right there. That is the uh, boosting and uh, the boosting amplifier itself. So you saw the outside antenna, and that outside antenna comes in right here. And then what it has done is it's taking in the cell signal that is available out there. The amplifier here boosts that signal up by about 32 times, and then it retransmits a cell signal. And let me see if I can see the wires that I've tucked up through here. I've tucked them all around here, and it uh, it reboosts them right to this. This is an uh, inside antenna. It's just a little a little antenna, and I've got it stuck with Velcro right there. And then that transmits that signal to up to four devices. Now you need to know a couple of things about the way cell phone boosters work. They boost a cell phone signal. Right? That seems simple enough, but a lot of people think that if there's no signal, it's going to get one and boost it. No, it has to, they have to have some sort of a signal for it to get. So there are a few areas in the country where there's just no cell phone coverage. There's also some areas where it's just a very weak signal. That's where these things come through. For example, if you have like one bar or one bar that goes in and out, this will boost that up to 32 times and you'll end up with a pretty good signal. Even here uh, in my driveway, uh, I have one bar showing on my cell phone, but when I run this, I'm up to three bars. So it does a, a terrific job. The unit I have, I think, is a little overkill for most uh, Class B RVers. I mean, 600 bucks, wow, that's a lot of money for a cell phone booster. But I would look at some of the other ones. I've had great experience with that one that was 179 I'll use this now for the next uh, several months, and uh, we'll let you know just how well that uh, super-duper expensive one performs.
If you've got something that you'd like me to show and tell how we've got our RV set up, just send me an email, mike at roadtrekking.com. I'll see you down the road.